Okay, team, we managed that. Hello. I'm Joan Crooks, and I'm the CEO of Washington Environmental Council and Washington Conservation Voters. And um, I am so grateful to be here with all of you tonight, crutches and uh, utility clog on my foot and all. So I'm, I'm on the mend. <laughs> I'm on the mend from a skiing accident and should be back um, up to speed before summer. So I want to thank REI and Ben for being a voice for our public lands and a healthy future for all of us. Thank you. You heard Ben talk about um, the big win with the Land and Water Conservation Fund. Senator Maria Cantwell fought for months to earn bipartisan support for this bill, which will invest billions in Washington's environment. This is a reminder that the Trump administration is not an excuse to sit back and do nothing. So thank you, Senator Cantwell. We appreciate your efforts. It's, it is also a reminder of why our national partnership with the League of Conservation Voters is so important. With the federal administration so bent on rolling back environmental progress, we have to be closer than ever to our Washington delegation and our national partners. I am sure folks have noticed throughout our program that this year is a bit different in Washington State, especially in Olympia. We hear it every day from WEC members, from leaders in Olympia, even from our opponents. They know big changes are coming. Washington is now a key part of what we are seeing shift across the country, that the movement to protect our environment is broader, better organized, and more engaged than we have seen in decades. But that work, that work has come from years of strengthening coalitions, making our case to the public, and building champions in Olympia. <laughs> Thankfully, this year, there is a new wave of energy in Olympia, and that's in large part thanks to Washington conservation voters. For years, WCV has been working tire tirelessly, election after election, and we are seeing the results today. This is the largest environmental majority than we have had in a decade. And woo! if I could stand on one foot and clap, I would. And through our partners in the Environmental Priorities Coalition, we have laid out the most ambitious legislative agenda in years. And that starts with Washington passing the strongest 100% clean energy bill in the country. <laughs> Together with Climate Solutions, the Northwest Energy Coalition, Sierra Club, and others, we are pushing for a full climate package in our legislature. This month, a clean fuel standard passed the House to clean up transportation. And just this week, our clean buildings bill passed through the House. The nation is looking at us right now. They want to see if we keep our values intact in the policies we create. We have to include strong standards for family sustaining jobs. We have to consider the health disparities in our communities when making big environmental decisions. And with the HEAL Act, led by our partners at Front and Center, we can do just that. It means we have to think big. We need comprehensive solutions. I want to give a quick shout out to Representative Joe Fitzgibbon, who's in the room tonight. Let me, let me just tell you, Joe did an amazing job to move the clean fuels, clean fuels bill out of the House. You should have seen him out maneuvering the Texas oil lobbyists who have been flown in. So thank you, Joe. Um, and now I want to 
talk about something that's weighed heavily on my mind for the last year. How do we save and protect our orcas and Puget Sound, our beloved Puget Sound? We know orcas need more fish to eat. They need to be free of noise and harassment. Like us, they deserve to not have their bodies polluted by toxics. And they need to be protected from an oil spill that could wipe them out. It sounds simple, but it's hard stuff to get done in Olympia. The good news is the rec recommendations from Governor Inslee's ORCA Task Force are making progress. Together with tribal nations and groups in the ORCA Salmon Alliance, we are fighting for the solutions it's clear that we need. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to sit by and let these magnificent creatures go extinct on my watch. We share a deep connection. We rely on the same waters, we breathe the same air, we eat the same fish. What we do to our orcas, we do to ourselves. We have to choose to act, and we have to do it today. All of our work, whether it's fighting against oil terminals and co oil and coal terminals, working with rural communities to build a sustainable future, restoring Puget Sound, or firmly committing to our partnerships as we push for climate action, this takes you. It takes you choosing to make a difference. Together, we can make lasting change that we know our state desperately needs. We know the warnings. We don't know we don't have time to spare. This is the fight of our lives. The need for our leadership has never been clearer or more important. Ben mentioned his daughter. Um, I, I think of my kids, uh, my big kid and my 12-year-old twins. Um, wow, I am proud and inspired by the youth movement that is pushing for climate action. I mean, it's just amazing. But honestly, um, honestly, it makes me sad and it makes me ashamed. Shame on us. Shame on us that we need them to save us. So um, I can't think of a more important time to be working for the environment and I can't think of a more exciting and impact impactful place in Washington State to be working for the environment than right here with Washington Environmental Council. So thank you for standing with us tonight. Um, really appreciate you being here. I am so excited now to be able to introduce our next speaker to the stage. Mona Das is a newly elected state senator from the 47th Legislative District in South King County. Before choosing to run for office, Mona had a successful career in business, including launching a mortgage business that educates and empowers first-time home buyers. She is passionate in sustainability and has jumped right in as a legislator, as the lead sponsor of one of our four environmental priorities, a statewide ban on um, plastic bags. Mona is a rising environmental champion who's already made incredible waves in Olympia. Please help, help me in welcoming her to the stage. <laughs> 